All right, we're back out here next day. We are getting the shop ready to paint. This time we're not going to be building a booth. We're just covering anything that's important that we don't want paint to get on potentially. Uh, I haven't really had problems with paint getting on anything that's like kind of far away or clear. Um, so yeah, basically we're covering the cars, getting the paint set up, getting everything staged. Uh, then we're gonna have to stage out the workbench cover it in plastic and this is where we're going to be doing all the mixing of the paint finish taping off the rear and yeah we have everything to basically do this so we're not going to do the ceiling or anything like that we're just gonna there's going to be no moving air in here there's not going to be a lot of dust being pushed around because the only moving air is going to be the gun so i think we're going to actually have some pretty good results um, last time we painted a car in here we had a booth but we had poor lighting every time so this is going to be quite nice. These. We got good lighting. We also have this one that's free that yep. we can just literally walk around and get any yep. light angle we want at it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to continue taping it off. We got to tape off the trunk. We got to tape off the wheel wells. All right. Well, we real smart boys. We have a million respirators, but we got the wrong filters. So instead of just hoping we get the right filters, we're just gonna get new respirators. Yep, because you don't play with your health. These isocyanates in this paint will fucking give you cancer. Cancer's so. not fun. No, so, but yeah, everything is up on sawhorses. We've never had this much room in a painting situation before, not doing a booth. Yeah, whole car's taped off. Everything's ready to go. We got all the paint set up here all the supplies, all the cups, everything, gloves, tack rags, you name it, we have it set up. So we're gonna go get those respirators, we're gonna come back, wipe this car down a couple times, wipe all the parts down, tack off, and then we're gonna fucking go for it. We're gonna fucking spray the bitch. All right, we got the respirators. Recipe boys. Now, and we got some, some baby little, cups. little cups. So instead of pouring the paint and then getting it everywhere from the cans, we'll just ladle into them with those. So that'll be cool. Um, basically, we are freaking ready. Uh, I'm super excited. We're gonna paint shit. Yeah, we're gonna get there, we're gonna clean everything up, and we're just gonna get to spraying. So, freaking juiced. The time has come. Woo! It is it's wiped down. Everything has been wiped down multiple times with wax and grease remover until the clean towel showed no dirt. All the nooks and crannies, every little freaking hole everywhere has been wiped. Everywhere has been completely clean. So now what we gotta do is we gotta tack rag it off. Once we're done with that, we're going to mix the base up and just fucking start shooting it. Just shoot, bitch. Let's get it. All right, so we're getting ready to lay the base coat down. Right here we have our tur turquoise slope. Try stage base coat. Stage one, this is just the white. Stage one. So we're just gonna get the base on there. But I like to make sure Shake it up real nice with the forehand. Let's see what this paint looks like. It's been a long time since it's been opened. It looks like a washing machine. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, paint don't, smells so good. Don't huff paint at home unless you really like the smell of it like I do, and then go fucking go nuts. It yeah. smells very candy-like. Two to one, right two, there. Two to one. So whatever part you put in this is to paint, you have to also put to reducer right here. So we're going to go, we're going to have to mix a lot, so I'm going to go to the five, and then I'm going to go to the five. So we're going to have this much base and we're probably gonna have to mix some more. Yep. So we got this. We got these little guys. Mm-hmm. So we'll be able to just kind of dump it on in there. All right. That's exactly five. 
Now, reduce that shit. We gotta reduce the shit. I don't know why I smelled that. Don't fucking be like me, guys. Okay, two to one, so we need to go to the five. All right, that's the five. So now we're going to put this cap back on, so keep dirt out of there. We're probably gonna use this, so we're gonna just leave that there. Now we just gotta mix it up. Grab a filter. Now we are going to filter into the gun. Look at that. It's like almost like champ white. Oh, well, it's probably similar to like appliance white. Mm -hmm. Like like my my civic the Greek Greek white. Pretty much set up. <laughs> We're good to go. Basically you want it to be like a football shape. You want to be able to hold it on there for a certain amount of time without it dripping. That's pretty much perfect. We just run this gun wide as hell. So what we're gonna do, I know you can barely hear me, is we're gonna get all of the the seams, the sides, the trim down here, and then we're gonna start working on painting the panels. Basically edge the entire thing and then uh, hit the panels after that. See if we get any reactions while in the cracks and crevices. So we had a catastrophic failure happen. The paint gun that we've had, our beloved paint gun we've had for 10 years, started freaking spitting. We cleaned it and uh, it's 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 gotta be broken or something. So basically we called Westco and their entry their best entry level paint gun is like 300 bucks, but they just sold the last one this morning, so we're shit out of luck. I would have bought it. Half the car is literally base coated right now for the first coat. So now we're heading to Harbor Freight and we're gonna pick up the fucking patented Harbor Freight spray gun and try to figure this out. I mean, the spray gun we had was like pretty good. So, you know, kind of sucks, but let's just get it and try to get this shit done. So we're back with the Black Widow. So we had to get this gun at Harbor Freight. We didn't really have time to see if they're good or not. But so far, this thing is like a Ferrari compared to the paint gun that we were just using. The fucking fan is nuts. But we're about to use it for the first time, so let's peep that shit. Let's see what it does! Harbor Freight Special! Oh my god!
But as you could see in that last video, that new gun, the Harbor Freight, what's it called? The Spider? The Black Widow. Black Widow. Yeah. That thing killed it. We've been painting with a gun that has just probably been broken. Not been performing this whole time because that thing literally like it's like you see in the the auto body um uh, tutorials on YouTube where they're like they, they get a wide open fan and it's just like boom, just fucking boom boom now it's like I have to be careful and I have to move really fast because if I stay on a panel too long I'll run that shit and that's exactly what you want out of a gun just burning through paint right yeah. now like we weren't used to how much paint we were going through so the gun started to sputter and we were like what the f is going on thinking that it was doing the same thing but not realizing we were just out of pain. Yep. So, so that uh, gun would have known. A class. We'll see how it does on the clear. But if it does the clear like it's doing this, we're we're gonna have a good paint job on our hands. All right. It's way later than we expected, but the car has been completely base coated, and we ran out of paint. We used surprising a lot. We used we had originally started with a gallon. But after doing my engine bay, his engine bay, the wing two times, and the whole car and everything else, um, we ran out. Yeah. But it was perfect because we got perfect. all the coverage that we needed. That. The front lip, we just decided not to paint because it was reacting really bad. So we're just gonna come back and paint that later. We'll just get get a, like a pint of white or something yeah. like that. And just get whatever. But <clears throat> yeah, now we're just waiting um, for the flash time so we can start getting into the mid coat pearl and basically we're gonna do however many coats of that that we see fit and then we're gonna throw the clear on probably put two or three coats clear so yeah all right so it's gonna be weird hearing me I have the phone really close to my mouth but it's so fumey in here that I cannot take my mask off no matter what I do but this is what it looks like look how flat this base laid that's with a Harbor Freight compressor Harbor Freight and a compressor. Harbor Freight top tier, most expensive Harbor Freight gun that they had. Performs amazing. This freaking look how flat this looks, bro. It looks like it's wrapped in like a matte white. Yeah. It's amazing. So, car is done. I don't oh. even see like any major like orange peeling or anything. Or, like... We had a bug land in this one. You mother. We'll have to pick that out, but. <laughs> oh my milky god. Jesus, that looks good. Alright, first coat of the pearls on. As you can see, you can see it in the video. It looks pretty crazy. We're definitely going to do a second coat, at least, before we do the coat with the flake. But yes, it's got this crazy blue sheen to it. Definitely looks really cool. Alright, well we're going to lay down the rest of the paint. I'm running out of battery on my phone, so we're just going to get back at you when we're about to re ready to lay down clear. Hell yeah! All right, guys, it's freaking turning nighttime. It's about seven o'clock um, already, about 6.40. We just got done with the flake. flake. We sprayed it in the last coat of pearl and we did like a dust coat and it actually worked out really good. So it um, came out, the flake just laid in perfect. Yeah, I don't like using the flake in the clear. I like just laying the clear on thick and just not worrying about it. I don't like having to worry about like little you know, flakes up sideways in the clear or whatnot. I like to put it in the mid coat because you can just blow it off and any loose ones will come falling down. But yeah, we gotta wait about 35 minutes uh, for it to do its final flash. And then we're gonna tack cloth, uh, tack cloth it down and then we're gonna put some fucking thick ass 2K clear on there and then she'll be done. And then we'll be on to the next chapter. Yes. You excited? Yeah, then it's just more sanding. Yeah, because we gotta cut and buff it. All right, so. We've done some shit. The flake and the mid coat is all down. It's all down. It worked really well. We went pretty heavy with the flake. I am happy with it. 
It looks fucking sick. It looks fucking nuts. We'll try to give you a sneak peek, but it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Well, we're gonna lay it down. You'll see the real effect once the clear is on there. The clear is so. on there. It'll really. Ow. Oh, so yeah, we're gonna do that shit. Oh. All right, we did it. We did it. It's painted. It's fucking painted. It's clear coated. Oh my god, it looks freaking crazy. Let me turn my flashlight on. It looks crazy. Look at that. The flake, the pearl, looks amazing. We put... We put over a gallon of clear on this. And it took a lot to bury the flake. But we have a couple sags. We have a sag on this quarter panel. I don't know if you could see it. We have a sag there. And we have a little run on the other side. But considering I've never sprayed with that gun, and I never sprayed it with a gun that moved that much volume before, I'm pretty happy with the results. All right, that is a fucking wrap. Look at this. Five fucking years. Five years. And it is literally painted and it looks so good. And after the cut and buff, it's gonna be almost unrecognizable, even from where it is now. But the blue is amazing. It looks so cool to, you can see the blue. It's got flake like for days. Yeah. So yeah, it is uh It's gonna be nuts when the sun hits it, that's for sure. Yeah. So I mean this got a, a little over a gallon of clear on it. We have a lot of wiggle room for wet sanding. We have a couple imperfections, but with any garage paint job that's kinda what you expect. And it's not a show cut. Yep. We're gonna come back tomorrow and I'll get more footage for you guys when it's dry. Dry and settled and we'll see it then. Hell yeah. See you in the morning. Peace.